staff of the International Monetary Fund, IMF, has completed their one-week visit to Ghana to conduct a media economic data review. More details are in the following business desk report, highlighting some of the key issues discussed during this visit. CNR Business understands that the assessment was at the request of the IMF board to get the latest update on Ghana's economic data. This update was necessary because the second review assessment relied on data up to May this year, and the IMF wanted staff to get the latest update up to July. CNR Business has learned that the IMF was pleased with the progress Ghana has made regarding the overall program. On macroeconomic indicators, the fund was satisfied with the continuous disinflation trend. However, it expressed concern about the recent surge in food prices. The fund also praised the central bank's performance in accumulating reserves, describing the monetary stance as appropriate. On the physical front, the fund was pleased with the progress Ghana has made in spending and revenue collection so far this year. Meanwhile, on July 16, the IMF held a press briefing in Washington, D.C. on global economic development. Here is the chief economist at the International Monetary Fund with highlights of the African region. The context is challenging for many countries in the region because of the funding squeeze that uh, I, I, I mentioned already that is affecting a number of, uh, a number of countries, especially in, uh, in, in sub-Saharan Africa. Uh, as we expect uh, monetary conditions to, to ease and inflation to be brought under control, then that gradually will, uh, will, also, will also ease. Uh, as well, so that will be a, 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 a positive uh, development. But really, clearly, uh, at the end of the day, what is very important for the, for the region is to put in place the conditions for uh, for sustained growth. 